Hey guys, it's me. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a little while, I guess, maybe a little over a week since I've done a video, but I hope everything is going well for everyone. We are in the end of January, so we'll soon be in February. Love, love, love in the air and all that jazz. So, I actually have some products that I finally got in that I told you guys that I was going to unbox or whatever for you a while ago. I actually have had them for a little while. They've kind of been sitting in the closet. You know, you get busy with work and things like that, and you kind of uh, lose track of time with these things. But anyway, here I am now. So we're going to start off with some of the stuff that I actually ordered off of Google's website. Remember I told you guys about the sale that they had right after Christmas and a lot of their devices, so like the Chromecast, the uh, Google Home Mini, and I actually, I did another video about the home minis. I got the other two out of, um, where's it, Walmart, and there was a really good special. But Google was also selling for $29, so I guess the directive came down from them, actually. So we're going to actually go into and look at these different products. And once I actually get everything set up, I think I'll probably give you guys a tour around to kind of see how I have everything set up. Anyhow, so this I actually already took it out of the box, but this is the Chromecast. I already have one. I just got the, the plain black one. They have two other color variations on their website. They've got the, I think this one's called Coral, although it doesn't really look like a coral to me. It looks more like a, a bright red or maybe a pomegranate. And then they also have, I think it's called Lime. It actually looks like this color here, these little bins from Ikea. So uh, I guess I guess just, just see what it looks like. Let me actually take this packaging off so we can actually see it. And I am OCD, so I don't like to destroy things. So. Even when you open that guy up, you've got some instructions right there, which is pretty nifty. And then, of course, you've got the little power cord in there. Oh, moving stuff. All right, and the device itself. So it's actually kind of a fluorescent -y color. You know, if you guys can see there, hold this a little bit closer to the light. I've got this kind of ambiance, like camping thing going on right now. But the device is pretty simple. That's where the power goes into the bottom right there. And then we have our HDMI. So that's pretty straightforward. That's that guy. And this one's actually going to go into the bedroom. I kind of wanted a color because everything that you get for your TVs and stuff, it's usually kind of boring and bland. And yeah, I just wanted something a little bit different. You know, I figured I'd give it a nice little pop of color. So that's why I have this one. Or chose this color, rather. So I'll put it back in here and let's see if I can. Okay, actually, the packaging. Not too bad. But I think I don't have it lined up right. There we go. So not all of that should click, click fix together. And this is kind of like an eggshell carton. I haven't really felt material like this for a while. So they actually also put a good bit of thought into their products, which can definitely be appreciated, like Apple does. And who knows? Apple's probably the model for that. But you guys should know what the Chromecast is and you know it casts with a lot of these different things so you got showtime our heart radio google music of course um just dance apparently for gaming and then you've got twitch as well so that's that we're gonna sit this guy right here beside the keurig and let's see so this was the other item that i was really 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 excited to get so this is my what is it gosh i'm giving I'm getting too much like creepy campfire story vibe here Trying to give you guys a little bit lighter of a vibe here. Eh, still got the shadow on the one side of the face. Anyhow, just me being a perfectionist. So this guy here, this is the Home Mini in Coral. So let's see where we're going to open the box from. I guess here. And they also, I noticed this, I don't really know what this stuff means, but they do this to all their boxes. They have these different letterings and stuff on it. And I think once we get into the top of it, we'll see it inside as well. Maybe I may have opened it from the wrong direction, but last, here we go. Bam! Look at that. It is the Coral Google Home Mini. Awesome. Oh, I love this thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I've actually got one over here and I think I've demonstrated it before. Hey, Google, tell me a joke. This might make you laugh. What did the teacher do with their students report on the history of cheese? She graded it. Ha ha. She graded it. Anyway, so here's this guy in the coral color. And in fact, it's 
hard for me to open it. I really don't want to open it. It's just so pretty. But let's go into it and let's actually look at it real quick. Because I've only seen it online. I haven't seen it in person yet. So off with the plastic. So you didn't get to see me actually open one of these boxes before. But pretty simplistic packaging. A nice little cute square. And they love to do a little rip thing down at the bottom. So all we have to do to get to this is we just rip that off comes off nice and clean and when you do this BAM there it is there's the coral Google Home Mini it is actually beautiful it's kind of got a I don't want to say a matted hue to it it's not as bright as the other thing but it's gorgeous it gives you like a nice coral color and you've got kind of some mixed in tones in there but it's beautiful I actually probably put this one in the bedroom and move the chalk and the black one around but this is actually gorgeous it's different I mean you don't really get to see a lot of these because it's only available through their website so you can't buy this one out of the storage you actually have to go to Google's website it's a little bit of an incentive to get you to go online and I've showed you guys all the packaging and stuff before I just wanted to take this out the box so you guys can see it let's put that down so I'm known as a shopper you know, it gets me in trouble sometimes, but I am passionate about a deal. I love to find things that are a good price and a good value, and sometimes that gets me in trouble, like I said. So, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Slick Deals. So, Slick Deals, it's it's, it's an app, and it's a website or whatever as well, I believe. And, uh, you know, it's kind of open platform, I guess, if you will. A lot of people will go on there and they'll kind of say, hey, you know, this is on sale, this is the deal. Oh wow, well if I would have done this before we wouldn't have had that campfire thing going on. So that actually looks a lot better. Anyhow, it was bothering me, sorry about that. So Slick Deals, you know, open source, got a lot of different things, you know, it kind of tells you what's on sale, where, how to get it for that price, so on and so forth. So I was actually on there a couple weeks ago, actually it was brought to my attention, my mother had, that they had a sale on some Microsoft games, um, X, like Xbox One titles. Um, some of it was newer stuff. Some of the stuff had been out for a while. I guess they probably did this around Christmas or after Christmas to kind of clear a lot of stuff out of stock. So there were some video games that were on there that I was like, you know what? I'm definitely going to check these out. And what did I do with my... I don't know. What... Oh, there it is right there. <laughs> right. So let's see what we have in these. Uh... So... This is the day one edition of Final Fantasy Type Zero. I had this for my PlayStation 4, but I figured since it was $7.99, now these games were $7.99. I had this exact same game, and this is the day one edition on top of everything else. So it has some exclusive content with it. Got this thing for my PlayStation 4. It's beautifully done. I actually think I really only wanted it because all of the different characters have capes. Thought that was pretty badass, but that's just me. Anyhow. So, there's a whole class of these kids. I don't know if you can really see. I think there's about 10 of them. But $7.99. And I, since I've got a 1 terabyte on my Xbox One, I figured I'd rather play it on there to clear up some space on my PlayStation 4. It's only 500 gigabytes. I've got about 300 gigabytes usable, and I've had to uninstall some things. But that's a whole other story. I'll probably, hopefully, get around to showing you guys where I upgrade the... the uh, the hard drive in it instead of getting another one be a little bit cheaper i think i'm, I'm thinking about going with the four gigs anyhow so final fantasy type zero day one edition and it actually has a demo for final fantasy 15 and i'm a little bit more about that here in a second so i found another deal i have to tell everybody about anyway so we've got that open let's put that over there and we got another envelope because we got three of these this is the second one Let's see what we got here. So this is the One Piece game. Any of you that are familiar with anime, so it's One Piece Burning Blood. It's going to be a fighter with all the different characters, and I guess it goes into the different arcs, the further arcs. I haven't really been, One Piece is long. One Piece to me is kind of like Naruto, that sort of thing. So I haven't gotten super, super far into to the other arcs or the later arcs in the series, but I really enjoyed it. And, it, and it's a fighter game. It looks like you've got... I know a tag versus three. This is one to two players local. And you can also do two to four on Xbox Live. So uh, just a nice little fighting game. I think $7.99, like I said, you can't beat it. So I figured I'd pick it up. And the final one. This one I played the demo on. It was a free demo on Xbox One a while back. 
We got the crew. Wild. Run edition. I about to say Wild Hunt. I'm thinking of The Witcher. Uh, so it says the, the first game and it's got the Wild Run expansion. There's also a deluxe one, but I kind of enjoyed this. I don't know if any of you remember, but the, the game, oh gosh, what was it called? Um, not GTA. I've never been a GTA fan. I'm trying to think of what it was called. Jeez, it's, it's escaping me right now. But it was one of the racing games where you kind of race and do stuff on your own. You customize your cars. There wasn't all the cops and all that stuff running after you, but I really did enjoy that one. And gosh, it's going to kill me that I can't think of the name of it right now. Hmm. I guess I'll think up later on and I'll let you guys know. Anyway, so another $7.99 deal. Pretty good. Now, I actually hadn't planned on doing this, but let me go grab something and I'm going to show you guys something real quick. So, I was actually, I don't know, I think I was renting some movies out of the Redbox. And they really updated their app. You can earn points. They've changed the rewards program and stuff like that recently. So, you actually can purchase pre-owned video games out of the Redbox. They did something like this a while ago. Maybe it, this is many, 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 many years and many moons ago. And I guess it was kind of like a test or something. But they actually bought it back. You can even buy the movies. Like, I saw, like, Wonder Woman in there for, like, eight bucks. So, I mean, I hope it's something they, they continue to do because to me, this is going to give competition to GameStop and places like that that charge so much more for these. Yes, granted, people have rented them and they played them and stuff like that, but generally, I haven't had any problems with them being in bad shape. So, that's what these guys are. So, right here we have this Final Fantasy 15. This is the full game. I got this guy for, I want to say, 10 bucks. 10 bucks out of the red box. Absolutely insane ridiculous i mean granted doesn't have a case it's got the red box case but i mean honestly who cares can't wait to play that one now this one was in there as well and i i don't i have installed this one on my playstation 4 plants vs zombies garden warfare 2 it's a first person shooter i don't really think i like the controls on it but i haven't really been playing my playstation 4 but this was another good deal i think this one was probably like 10 bucks as well and some of these other ones were super cheap they were like five dollars this is one that i able to pick up for the Xbox One. It's um, Agents of Mayhem. This one was like five bucks. It kind of looked like Crackdown, if any of you are familiar with that. And then, of course, I never beat the first one, but got Nat 2 as well. So, really excited about that. And, of course, that's for the PlayStation 4. That was another one. It was around ten bucks. And this was a little racing game. They had more PlayStation 4 stuff. And granted, it's, a, it's by area, just depending on where you are and different things like that. So, oh, my phone's going off. So, anyhow, this is kind of just a little cheesy, cheesy racing game. But, yeah, five bucks. You know, what do you have to lose, honestly? You can always trade it in if it doesn't work. So, that's honestly really all I have for you guys right now. I'm hoping to check in with you guys again before the end of the week. And we can go over some things and talk about some more stuff. And I'll kind of let you know what's going on in my universe. Thanks for tuning in, and please subscribe below. The more followers, the better. You know, I, I try to do more content. You know, I'm kind of getting the hang of things. And, and make suggestions. You know, tell me what you like, what you dislike. And I'm ready to hear from you guys. Take care. Bye.